animal have you fought? Lions, girl. Giraffes, elephants, all kinds. What's your favorite food? My favorite food? Rats. Jungle fighting and being a man. I trained in the jungle because you know this American style. Esse aqui é o meu estilo de vida, é onde eu preparo a minha mente diariamente e é onde eu, eu sinto que eu estou preparado para qualquer luta que vier. Eu acho que o mais importante é o que está dentro, né? não é o que é está fora. Use my jungle technique to get rid of them, so... Agora o próximo passo é o próximo evento, é o que eu estou mais preocupado. Two years old, six foot tall, 205 pounds. You see the record, okay. one and zero in pride. This just his fifth ever MMA fight. Three and one as a professional. Ricardo Arona is 28, of course from Brazil. 13 and four overall in MMA. Eight and three in pride. Five foot 11, 204 pounds. So could you, an inch taller, one pound heavier. But yet you would think Aron is the stronger man. Just just because of time of, of event, time of MMA, time in the ring. We're going to see what happens right now. Aron, of course, in the black trunks. So could you in the red trunks. Daisuke Noguchi is the referee. Round number one. So could you fainting? Interesting filling out process. I thought one of them at least would step in and try to do something very, very quickly. That's a big, powerful right-footed kick from Sokaju. Kick right back from Arona. Those kicks will do damage later. As longer the fight goes, the more it's going to, less leg movement you know, Arona's going to have. They're high enough right now in his thigh that you don't have to really worry about checking them. And if you check them, it's going to be shin on shin. And that could hurt one guy as much as the other. So right now, I think Arona's doing a good job of, of just taking that kick for the moment. But he couldn't take too many more of them, not three or four more of them. He's going to have to start checking them for sure. Very cautious start to this fight from both men, Sokaju and Arona. Arona eventually is going to get frustrated and step in. That's his M.O. Give him another 30 seconds or so, he's going to step inside very, very quickly. Try to at least tie up. 
Three seconds instead of 30. That's a good call, Frank. Rona working on the takedown, working on the right leg. So he's got great balance on his feet, obviously from his judo background. He knows how to stay out of this kind of stuff. But Arona is so tough when he ties up on his leg. He gets in the single leg, he definitely knows how to stay in there. He'll hunt it down, he'll force his way in there. Very, very strong, both competitors. Body shots from Sokaju. Rona has his rib cage exposed. Working on the head now, Rona. Oh, no, no, no. What's up? Oh, he's down, he's up. Down, 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 down. It's over. Sokaju pulls the upset. He knocks out Ricardo Arona. Can you believe it? He pulls off the biggest upset tonight thus far. He knocks out Ricardo Arona with an uppercut after that split of the single leg takedown. What a great way to be punching. In less than two minutes, he knocks out Ricardo Arona. Terry pulls the upset. Absolutely amazing. Begin the coronation because Soka Jew is the new superstar of MMA. Two wins. That's not a fluke. He's knocked both guys out with heavy hands. One guy exploded into it. The second guy he took his time. He found his spot. He knocks him out. Sokaju is here, and he is a factor at the 205-pound weight class in the world of MMA. Sokaju is a judo player. He's not meant to be able to kick or punch. Arona absolutely stunned. It was the uppercut that landed from Sokaju, which finished the fight. Right there. Severe, straight, right-handed uppercut, splits right through the hands, puts Arona down, gets kicked in the head, referee steps in for fighter safety, stops this fight, but he's out. You see how his body drops, how his head snaps back, and puts him down on the canvas. Game, set, match. Absolutely incredible. No argument from Ricardo Arona in your mind? Good stoppage? Good stoppage. No, of course, you know, you know, you're gonna fight, you're gonna argue, you're gonna want to be like, look, I was still in the game, I was still fighting, but good stoppage by the referee. Incredible work. Sukuju definitely let in with that right, you know, with that uppercut, right uppercut. He knew he was thrown, he knew he was gonna make contact with it. That was a great punch, an incredible finish. And I said earlier, if there's gonna be a big upset tonight, it was gonna be this fight. Obviously, Terry proved me right once again. Technically, that uppercut is not meant to land with that effectiveness. His legs were all over this shot, but there's tremendous power in the upper body. Now, remember, too, you have to understand, Sean, he's only 22 years old. This kid's got a long time left in this game. So could you 2-0 and in pride? Knockouts versus Antonio Rogerio Noguera, and now Ricardo Arona. That's Amazing. all I know for now, but I'll learn tomorrow. Anyway, I want to thank my team, Dan Henderson, Mayhem, Dr. Prasad, Baby Vinny, Ch Chonan, and Big Steve here. Without them, I will not be here today. Also, all the fans here at Saitam Marina, beautiful place. C can I move out here? Can I stay here? Yeah? Uh, just keep me a three house, because I'm not used to those them houses, OK? Is Arona mad at himself or mad at the stoppage? Mad at himself. He split his hands, gave, gave, gave him a spot. He wasn't aggressive, didn't step in and try to take it to Terry right away. Kind of like Terry, you have to get after him right away. No one's doing it. First, first, thing, first of all, I want to thank Mr. Saki Kibara for giving me a chance to fight for pride. And uh, uh, <laughs> thanks. Arigato. Hello. All right. Thank you, Japan. Thank you, Tokyo. Saitama. Sayonara. Frank Raoki and Sokaju, the two next big stars in MMA. You know what? You know, this raises an interesting thing. He's now the number one contender at 205. 
Dan Henderson is the champ at 205. Dan Henderson is a training partner. And the reason why he got an MMA was because he had to help Dan get tra trained for a fight. He got an MMA because he had to start training with Dan. If you take a look, he's elbowing and th he's throwing hammer fists. He's not elbowing. And as soon as Ricardo lets go, Ricardo takes a step back and steps straight out, giving Terry the shot to get that uppercut and split his hands to put him unconscious. Obviously, see the great celebration at the end of it. Terry did a great job once again, proving that all you have to do is have some will and determination and and you can really pull a lot of these fights off by stepping in and believing in your technique and your style. And Sokuji really believes in his technique and his style. And so he steps through all the time. He, all his punching, his kicking, his throws, everything are getting much better. The right uppercut obviously turned the fight in favor of Sokuju, but he didn't stand and admire it. He then followed up with the right hand. And that's the smart thing. Once you put a guy down, as he, as he says hi there to Mr. Sakuribara, that as you, as you, as you, as you hit a guy, you have to follow him up with other things. You can't just do one, two, one thing, two things. Sometimes you do three or four things. And Terry did a bunch of things right after. He did a great, great job. I'm really happy for him. Coming up, our main event of the evening: Pride versus UFC. Kazuyuki Fujita versus Jeff Monson, and will be joined ringside by two belt holder at Pride, Dan Henderson. How's it going, guys? It was doing good. You sat down next to me. Why? Now you're not the prettiest guy on the table? Not anymore. <laughs> I was, not anymore. Wow. All I have to say right now is wow. And how happy are you for Terry? But here's a very interesting question. 